At the bottom right, you can see the oil hinge. The flange you see here on the right is the oil inlet. The flange on the left is the oil outlet for the return line. The return line is only shown as a symbol here. We will not be seeing it again in this film. We are only showing you how the oil flows from the inlet up to the rotary cup. The oil flows through the oil hinge. First, it reaches the integrated electric preheater. The preheater heats it up to the correct temperature. Then it flows on to the control devices for pressure and flow rate in the oil fittings block. These are the oil pressure regulator, the oil flow controller, the oil flow meter and the manual rapid shutoff. There are also two monitors, high and low, for the oil temperature and one monitor, high, for the oil pressure. At the end of the oil fittings block, we have the two ESV safety shutoff valves. Of course, they are shown as open here, and the relief valve. After the oil passes through the oil fittings block, it reaches the rotary cup. In this shot, you can also see the different air streams that are fed into the SKVJM. The combustion air is divided into three partial streams. The primary air, shown here in purple. The secondary air, shown here in light green. And the tertiary air, shown here in light blue. The primary air is also called atomizing air. It makes up about 10% of the combustion air, and its purpose is to atomize the oil. A primary air fan is integrated in the burner to increase its pressure again. The secondary air supplies the largest portion of the oxygen that is required for combustion, and it determines the shape of the flame when it is formed. The tertiary air is also called third air. It makes up about 5% of the combustion air, and its main purpose is to cool the stabilizing disc.